will be able to solve one economic problem with this unemployment and at the same time you will be able to mass maximize the profits and minimize the cost. In what, in, 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 what, are, what are we talking about? In the sense that the, there are enough labels on ground, there are enough human resources on ground that you can use. When you venture into that, it will help us to, it will help the economy to do what? To produce more because you have enough hand to handle the production. It will not be a problem for such economy to use human labor. Then, by way of example, another example is banking institutions have substituted the majority of their counter services in the federal with automatic teller machine, ATM, from phone banking and net banking. Why? Because they discover that this uh, uh, their system can you go into using all these uh, uh, capital intensive and it will help them to, to gain more and it will not cause them the cost of the labor again. When you go to bank, instead of you going to queue on, uh, uh, on at the counter to get your money, you can straight away go to the ATM, ATM machine, automated, automatic teller machine outside, withdraw your money and leave. Instead of spending hours and it's, it is you being on queue and having a long queue in the bank is another stress for the banker. It's another stress for those people the teller at the uh, uh, in the bank because the more queue, the more stress for them. In that case, by reducing it using automated machine, it will help them to have less work to do in the banking hall. The approach of to production using a resource combination which includes a small capital and much labor is what we refer to as labor intensive. Why that of utilizing a little labor and a lot of capital is what we refer to as capital intensive. Each one of these, these our decisions was made based on lowest cost and accessible modern technology. Because we have access to some level of technology, some institutions have upgraded themselves to use much of capital intensive because it will be cost effective for them. The next one, uh, our basic concept by uh, problem of economics is for whom to produce. This basic economic problem is focused on who receives what share of the products and services which the economy produces. The portion of production which each person or family can consume is determined by their income. The level of their income, the level of an individual income will determine how much of the product someone can buy. And the level of an economy's income can determine how much of the products can the whole economy can afford. In an economy where the, 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 there, is, there is much wealth, there is much resources, there is possibility of such an economy to bring more income if the companies and the industries in such economy produce more because there is enough resources on ground to meet all these needs. The all goods and services produced must get to the final consumer. Until it gets to the final consumer, we can say production is complete. In that case, the, the, the final consumer are the target, they are the market. How it get to them and the way to get it to them is part of uh, the market that we are looking at that any economy must look at and an organization must look at when they are going into any business or the other to give them the uh, required and uh, the income that they need. The next one problem that we need to look at that, that faces all economies is the efficiency of resource use. The efficiency of resource use is concerned with the optimal production and distribution of these scarce resources. We already established the fact that these resources to satisfy our wants are limited. Then how are we going to use these limited resources, this small amount of resources that we have to satisfy the unlimited want or to gain maximum satisfaction so that it will not waste the resources that is not even there. A broad term that implies an economy state in which every resource is optimally allocated to serve each person in the best way while minimizing waste and inefficiency. That is when we are talking of efficiency of resource use. That is, we are using the resources in, the mass, in, in, in an efficient way so that there is no waste or there is a little waste in the use of resources. When an economy is economic, economically efficient, 
in such an economy, any change made to assist one person will harm another. That is, if there is any slight mistake, it will really affect the other. Because slight mistake in the use of the resources will really go a long way because the resources, the one that that resources that is wasted supposed to satisfy will no more be there again. In terms of production, goods are produced at their lowest possible cost, are favorable, favorable in, uh, as, as the favorable inputs of production. The resources is part of the variable inputs that we use together, we put together to produce one thing or the other. Now let's consider some questions under these economic problems that we just discussed. The first question says, economic problem arises because Option number A, man is insatiable. B, resources are limited relative to want. C, money is scarce. D, resources are unlimited. Question number two, a basic economic problem of any society is cash. A, high level of illiteracy. B, irregular power supply. C, power population growth. D, resource allocation. Question number three, which of the following is related to resource allocation in an economy? A, how to produce. B, what to produce. C, efficient use of input. D, for whom to produce. And question number four, household make economic decisions because they want to dash. They want to make more profits. B, they want to increase their purchases. C, they want to increase their salaries and wages. D. They want to maximize their satisfaction. Now question number five. Basic economic problems can also be regarded as dash. A. As fundamental economic problems. B. As ideal economic problems. C. As compulsory economic problems. D. As developing economic problems. Now let's take it one by one and try to answer it. The first question that says economic problem arises because of that. The correct answer there is because the resources are limited relative to want, which is option B. That is the first, I mean the correct answer for that. The basic economic problem arises not because money is insatiable, not because money is scarce, not because resources are unlimited. In fact, resources are limited relative to one. So option number B is the correct answer. The second question that says a basic economic problem of any society is dash. It's not option number A say high level of illiteracy. It's not high level of illiteracy. Option number B say irregular power supply. It's not the problem of power supply. Option number C say population growth. It's not because population is growing. No. Option number C say resource allocation. That means that is the correct answer because the basic economic problem is how to allocate the resources that we have to satisfy one want or the other. That is question number two. Question number three which says which of the following is related to resource allocation in an economy? That is, is it how to produce? How to produce is not talking about resource allocation. It's talking about which topic, I mean what method to use, the techniques to use. Is it capital intensive? or labor intensive method. That is wrong as the option. Option number we say what to produce. What to produce is also is not dealing with out I mean allocation of resources. What to produce is actually talking about what product should we produce. It's not the allocation of resources. Option number C which says efficient use of inputs. Efficient use of input is the one the correct answer which is option number C You're talking about the allocation of the resources because efficient use of input is talking about how should we use these resources how should we allocate one resource to the other so that we will be able to maximize our satisfaction and often about the way for whom to produce that is not the correct answer so therefore for number three option number c is the correct answer number four which says household make economic decision because they want to what do, why do they want to do that? It's because they want to maximize their satisfaction. It's not because they want to make more profit. Also, don't make profits because they are not into business. They are into satisfying themselves. Then, it's not to increase salaries and wages. They are not paying anybody. 
is not to increase their purchases, but how do we how do we do they maximize their resources so that they will get more satisfaction? The little resources they have, how are they going to use it to meet their wants so that they will be satisfied at the highest level? And the last question that talks about basic economic problem can also be regarded as dash. What can how, what are the that this one is talking about? What other names can we give basic economic problem? This is just an English word. The word basic can also mean fundamental, which gives us the option number A to be the correct answer. That means option number A is the correct answer for number five. Topic number three is basic tools for economic analysis. This topic is trying to give us some tools that we use in economics to analyze economic problems, to provide solutions to economic problems. And under this topic, we have some other subtopics that we have to look at, which are the uh, uh, and, uh, tools that we use. The first one here is table. We have table. The second one is graphs and charts, or charts. Then we have pie charts. Then we have bar charts. Another tool is histogram. Another one is multiple pie charts. Then followed by line charts or what we call graph, then we have component bar charts, then we have pictogram. Now let's take them one by one. 